Hello everyone, it's Leo. I just woke up and there are lots of news concerning Healing Good Precure and we finally have the episode titles for the four next episodes. We've been waiting for this since before the, the hiatus became a reality in Healing Good because we already knew the episode titles up until episode 18 before the hiatus even started, I think. And now we finally have episode titles for episodes from episodes 19 to 22. So let's take a look at them. Obviously, this is going to be full of spoilers because we're finally getting, get, gonna get to know Cure Earth and uh, when she is debuting in the season. So we have those episodes. In episode 19, we have Protect Latte, the Wind of Prayers and the Girl of Miracles. In episode 20, now with our combined wish, we are Cure Earth. In episode 21, nice to meet you. I am Fooding Asumi. And in episode 22, please don't run away, Latte, a disappearing body and blooming feelings. So, based on those episode titles and the magazine scans that we've all, already seen, let's try to guess what is going to happen in those next few episodes. So, episode 19 ha is Protect Latte, the Wind of Prayers, and the Girl of Miracles. So, uh, taking a look at some past magazine scans, Let's go back to this one. In this magazine skin, we can see the girls fighting against Batetemolda. It's a regular monster. It's just a regular Mega Bjogan. But they, uh, they all get captured in this fight, as we can see here. Uh, Cure Grace gets captured, and the other two also get captured. And Latte, for the first time, tries to fight back against the monster. She bites the monster, and she gets... Unfortunately, thrown away. We all know Latte isn't the very physical type. She has no powers, at least for now. And we also see Tiachinu praying for the statue for a miracle. And yes, a miracle actually happens. Because we see here a gust of wind blowing Batetemolda away. And Cure Earth saving Latte. Cure Earth is going to save her. And um, Cure Earth is going to also save the girls. But it's not only that. Like, she saves the girls and the girls are able to perform their attack and destroy the monster by themselves. So this is how we're going to meet her for the first time. What really makes me think about this is the fact that in Healing Good, at least so far from what we know, the girls need their partners to transform, right? And Cure Earth's partner is Latte. So, how is she going to appear saving Latte for the first time? Well, you know, it's a miracle, right? So, how is she going to appear as Earth for the first time without using Latte? This is really making me think. So, I'm not really sure if it's going to happen exactly like the scans are showing. So, maybe we're just going to see a gust of wind and Asumi appears, not really Cure Earth. Or maybe she will transform, cure, uh, she will use the nature's power to become Cure Earth for once. And then for the next times, she is going to have to fuse with Latte to become Cure Earth. Not fuse because they're not fusing uh, as the others, but, um, you know, using Latte's power to become Cure Earth. So I'm not really sure if this is how it's going to happen, but I think that's more or less what we're going to see. In episode 19. And then in episode 20, we have now with our combined wish, we are Cure Earth. So this is when I believe they're both going to get together and become Cure Earth. Uh, and then we're going to see Cure Earth's transformation for the first time. And uh, we're also going to see uh, Cure, Earth, uh, Cure Earth's attack because we're not going to see that when she saves the girls, as we can see here. Uh, she will just appear. She will just free the girls. She will just save Latte. And the girls are going to defeat the monster by themselves with the healing oasis attack. So I believe that we're going to see her transformation and attack in episode 20. But we're going to have our first glimpse as um, from her in episode 19. And so in episode 21, we have nice to meet you. I am Fooding Asumi. So if we take a look back at some other scans that we saw, uh, more or less at the same time as this, we see that she appears to the girls and she introduces herself as a spirit and she doesn't really have a name right she we just know she's a spirit we just know she just 
appeared and just materialized herself because of Teachinus prayers. So she's not really a human being and she doesn't really have a human name. What we know is that Nodoka is the one that's going to give the name to her. There is a scan about that, but I don't remember where. I don't think I put it here. But anyways, we know that Nodoka is the one that is going to give her a human name when she appears to them and when they start talking about uh, like where she lives and she says earth is my home and things like that you know like the whole planet is my house i mean it makes a lot of sense if you think about it and uh that's more or less what i think is gonna happen i think this scan is probably from uh episode 20 when she is going to become cure earth for the first time and uh probably the group pose in episode 21 i'm not really sure and in this, uh, this lower scan here, we can see Earth going against um, Batete Molda. So I believe that we're going to have kind of like a rivalry in the villain side. We have Daruizen rivaling Grace, Shindo Ine rivaling Fountain, Guayru rivaling Sparkle, and last but not least, Batete Molda rivaling Earth. So I think that we're not going to see the villain's side changing that much. They're probably going to stay the same up until the end of the season because I think that it, we're going to kind of have this rivalry. And uh, Inu had some a pretty nice theory about how the villains are attacking. We can elaborate that on a future video. I don't know, but he had some a nice idea about the villains attacking. So I really believe that we're going to have those four villains up until the end. We might see someone new but maybe as a boss to them because Byogen is being very, very suspicious in the ways he is acting. So uh, she is going to transform in episode 20, where we see here. And in episode 21, she is going to be introduced as Asumi. Nice to meet you. I'm fooding Asumi. And in this episode, she's probably going to start bonding with the girls. And I think that's when, or maybe this is the last scene of episode 20 and she's introducing herself. And then in episode 21, we start learning more about who she is and what she is trying to do and everything. But the fact is, she doesn't have a name. And probably in episode 21, that's when Nodoka will give her a human name, which is going to be Asumi. We still don't know where she takes that name from. Maybe it's the same name of the past girl who fought alongside Teatinu. Or maybe this is just a name that came out of Nodoka's mind. We still don't know. The fact is, I'm very curious to learn uh, about this name, and I'm curious to see if Noroka has some sort of ideas. So in this episode, we're probably going to see how Asumi is. Like, she has no idea about the human world, and she's going to try to learn more about it. The girls are helping her here, and she's probably going to try some new styles as well, as we've seen in some scans. This is going to be very, very nice. And this is probably when she is going to get her style, her green dress and everything. And in episode 22, we have the first falling with Latte. We have Please Don't Run Away Latte, A Disappearing Body and Blooming Feelings. So, as we saw, Asumi does not know anything about the human world and how humans act. For her, everything is nature, everything is earth, and her mission is to fight the Byogans. So she's very focused on that. But Latte herself doesn't seem really doesn't really seem to be like that. I mean, Latte is probably going to be very happy that now that she, now that she is a healing animal and she has a partner and everything. So, I mean, she probably wants to live. So in this episode, she wants to go out with Asumi. She wants to enjoy uh, the world with Asumi, and Asumi does not want that. So this creates this little tension between them. And Latte wants to run away. Latte is probably going to be very frustrated at this. This is what happens. This is what makes Asumi start disappearing and the girls are starting to freak out, knowing, not knowing what to do with this situation. So I think that this is when this tension, this tension, this tension happens and they're probably uh, going to get together and Shindoini will attack and then they're going to get back and then Cure Earth will appear again and they will fight against this monster and win and they're going to be happy again and... Uh, this is probably a turning point for Asumi uh, for, from when she is starting to understand more about humans and what humans do and things like that. 
and she is probably going to start uh, acting more as a human and trying to understand how humans think and how humans react and her bond with Latte is going to get stronger and stronger. I'm very curious to see this. I think this is going to be a pretty interesting set of episodes and I'm curious to see how things are going to happen. I'm very curious to see if Earth herself will appear in episode 19 or if the saving of the cures is not really going to be as the scans showed. Because here in here we can see Earth appearing without the need of Latte transforming with her. Maybe this just happens only once or maybe this doesn't happen like this at all in the anime because sometimes we have scans showing what's gonna happen but at the end of the day it happens a little bit different in the series itself. So those are the episode titles for episodes 19 to 22. Uh, everything I said here some of the things are speculation as in episode 19 and more or less what's gonna happen in episodes 20, 21 and 22 but most of the things are things that are on the scans themselves like the thing that's happening on episode 22 and everything. So um, I'm I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. And I don't think we're going to have much blot on Asumi herself and her and the big storyline behind her. I think she's just going to be this earth spirit that was born from Teatinu's wish. And maybe she's related to the past girl. We still don't know that. And it doesn't seem that it's exactly like that. But I'm, I'm very curious to learn more about the past fighter. I really hope we, sh we see her uh, like fully and not that image that we had in episode 14. I mean, they look very similar. So I believe that the statue was made with that past girl in mind. But I really still want to see her because I'm, I'm pretty sure she's very similar to Earth. But not exactly, exactly the same. And one thing I love when Precure, do, when Precure does is... Uh, this this magical thing when past cures appear, maybe just for one episode or two. I love when that happens. When it, ha when it happened in Go Princess, I was very happy. When it happened with Kira Kira, I was very happy as well. I just love it. They should do it way more often. And I, I don't know, it's just amazing. Anyways, everybody, that's all for now. Please leave a comment with what you are expecting from Cure Earth and the next set of episodes from Healing Good Precure. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!